Hi, I'm Drew. And I'm Kathy. I went picking our Assabet. Back to the place we were last time. Assabet River, that is. Yay. Part three. We didn't make it down to our target destination last time because we were finding stuff all along the way. So now we're going to start down at the end and work our way back. Well, this was a Lydia E. Pinkham's vegetable compound. But you found one of them here before when you jumped my pile. Oh yeah, yeah. Pile jumper, you? Pile jumper. You gotta read the book for that story. Pipe. Clay pipe. I'm getting out of the boat. Ooh, there's stuff here. Been a while since we found a pipe. Yay! Oh, that's a little different shape. Just a little bit different than usual. Plain. I wonder if there's a maker on the stem. Oh, there's something on the stem. Have to check that out later. I know if those are letters or numbers. There's something. This is different. Nice. Nice find. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yep, no good. It's a golf ball. Nice condition. Not that I play golf. All kinds of stuff to look at in this little washed out area. This looks like a first aid kit, I think. No, no, this is like some kind of game thing, I guess. Well, that's history. Not in a good way. Put that aside to take out with us. Huh, red wear. That would have been nice. Probably a teapot, I'm guessing. This was old, an old strap-sided flask. Ta 
out to the milk bottle. the base of that funnel I don't see any lettering to be able to name that bottle yeah it's like a utility a blacking bottle okay probably Stoddard or Keen Put this in the boat, I'll photograph it later. Oh, that's cute. It's a lid off a sugar bowl or something. Wow, that's cute. Yep. like the opposite of you, you're the bad head. Mm. Ah. <laughs> yeah, give me a, put them on the boat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yep. Going for a ride. Looks like a whip for us. Yeah, it is. Whittemore, Boston, USA. USA? USA. It's not backwards. It's USA. So actually, this is, a, I think, a little bit larger than the one we found last time. Whittemore, Boston, USA. That would have been shoe polish. It's a find. Got something? Yeah, one of those whiskeys with the three-cornered hat guy on it. Oh, yeah. I don't know, John Paul Jones or something? Yeah, I think so. Ship? The, the Minuteman and the ship. Yep, there are some variants of this one, too, that we have. Nice finding the three-cornered hat Continental soldier in old Concord Mass. Yep. Continental. Colonial. Colonial. Yeah.
Yo, guess what I see? Another one. I think this is this is a bigger one. One pint. Yep, there he is. Same thing? Yep. I think it's bigger though. This is a pint. What was yours? Half pint. Okay, so we got a pint and a half pint. Got a bottle coming up. Ah, well, it's not quite what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something a little older and embossed. Screw top melons food. Screw top melons food. This is you know, infant's food from Boston. This is Boston, USA. We prefer the older ones, but it's a find. Should be aqua. Uh, Not old enough, nope. Too modern on that pickle jar. Let's see. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's full of water. Yep. Yeah. Crack too. No. Definitely not. Oh, too bad. This is a nice, fiery, opalescent dish. Rats. There's a tiny one. And it just says, there's the patent date on the base. Plumbing tricks. Whoa. Uh, bedpan? Yeah, bedpan, something like that. You want it? <laughs> Not really. I wonder if that piece is bottom. I don't know. No, I don't know. Spittoons are probably as far as I go. I don't know. I don't know about it. Bed pan. Okay. Handle holder. Oh, too bad that's broken. Yeah. That still works though. Yeah, that's depression glass. That'll probably glow under black light. Another candlestick. Does it match the other one? Does it match the other one? Uh Style's different. No, that's funny. Huh. Does it still work? No, it'll, it'll be crooked. Yeah.
Oh, there are four bottles here. Two of them look like junk. We'll check out the other two. We'll start with this other one. Nope. Okay, this one, this looks like a milk. And... It's an unembossed milk. Maybe something ghostly will show up on it later. Yeah. Well. And let's see. Junk. And junk. Well, good job spotting the milk, but unembossed, unfortunately. This used to be a milk bottle. From North Wilmington, Ames. Or is it Eames? E A M E S. Huh. I bet you it's a lens off an old headlight. Huh. I don't know. Could have been a mirror. Yeah, it could have been a mirror too. Yeah, you'd think the silver stuff is probably gone off the back of it. <laughs> oh, well here's an old melon's food. Yay! Here's the old version. Melon's infant's food. Dolaberg Goodale Company, Boston. Found an old melons. What? Old melons. Old man? Yes, you are. But that's besides the point. Old melons. Melons, yeah. Good. Melons in for food. Let's see if this medicine bottle says anything on it. Let's see. And it does. Williams and somebody. Carlton. Williams and Carlton, Hartford, Connecticut. Druggists. Yay. Well, we're not in Connecticut. Would like it better if it was mass, but this is a nice bottle. Nice 1800s druggist. Well, it's got cracks, whatever it is. Ah, uh, it's plain anyway. Now I see aqua. Looks like a medicine bottle. I don't know if there's any embossing. I don't even know if there's a neck attached. Uh, well, it's cracked. It was the Sanford's Jamaica Ginger. But it's all cracked up. That's no good. Hmm. 
too bad. I thought maybe that was going to be some sort of a tag. Can you see this? Right in my shadow, I see another clay pipe. It's another clay pipe. Yes, it is. Yay. Now, this is the more typical shape we find, more typical TD pipe. There may or may not be initials on that spur. I have to look later. Yay. Another pipe. Looks like an ink. Ink with one of those busted tops. Huh. That's cute. Yay. What is it? Ink. With the busted off top. Oh. You know, the kind that's busted off on purpose. Oh wow. Yeah, so this would have had a metal fitting on it. Okay. Yay. This one I don't have. I do now. And embossed. It's old, but otherwise uninteresting. Oh, well, I thought for sure this was going to be embossed. Nope. Let's try this one. No, why aren't any of these embossed? They're all old. That one's amber. I might take that anyway. Well, here's a Coke. December 25th, 1923. A Christmas Coke. I've never found a Christmas Coke. Drew did once. Oh, I hope it's good. It looks good. I don't see any cracks. Yay. Yay. Christmas Coke. Christmas Coke. Yay! I'm glad I picked it up. Thinking, oh, another Coke bottle. We have so many. Not Christmas Cokes, we don't. 